Hello beautiful people, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are well. If this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by. So today I'll be showing you how I make geese dodo, also called dodo geezard. And I have these luscious looking ingredients on the table. So to start with, I'll be using two ripe plantains. two red onions and also for my peppers I'll be using three fresh tomatoes two scotch bonnets green and yellow bell peppers bell peppers which I'll be using later in the cooking and three red bell peppers For my seasoning, I have chicken bouillon, curry powder, mixed herbs, smoked paprika, all purpose seasoning. And I also have in the bowl there, washed chicken gizzards and sunflower oil. So do kindly stay tuned and watch how I make geese dodo. Okay, so I'm going to start first by cooking the chicken gizzards and I'm going to season with the curry powder, chicken bouillon, mixed herbs, smoked paprika, um, all purple seasoning, salt to taste as well. And then I'm going to be adding some water to it. Now with um, chicken gizzard, it's quite a tough um, piece of meat. So you need to cook it until it is tender. Um, I would say cook it for about 35 minutes or so, but do check it just to make sure that it is um, cooked. Um, until it's done. Okay, so here I'm chopping the peppers, that's the bell peppers, the tomatoes, the onions, as well as the scotch bonnet. All those will be thrown into the blender, will be blended quite coarsely, where you can still see bits of the peppers in the um, geese dodo sauce. I'll be leaving the green and yellow peppers for later use in the cooking. Okay, this is where you actually now blend the peppers using the pulse function on your blender. You can just do it in very quick and short burst, maybe for like one second, and then that helps to give the peppers the coarse um, consistency that you, you see in this particular video. Okay, so we're going to get the plantain ready now. Um, first, just cut off both ends of the plantain. Then cut a narrow slit down the length of the plantain and simply remove the, the skin. The next thing you want to do is cut the plantain in half, then another half and cut into small size chunks 
and set aside for later use. Okay, here I'm just going to check the geyser to see how it's getting on um, and also whether I need to add a bit more water into it. It doesn't look like I need any water added, um, so it looks perfectly fine. It still needs to cook a bit longer, uh, maybe for another 15 minutes or thereabout, but just checking just to see. If it requires you to add a bit more water, then please do, do so. Okay, so I mentioned in the video at the beginning that I was going to set this aside um, for later use. So the whole idea of the green, yellow peppers and the um, tomatoes and onion is just to give color to the um, giz dodo and that will be added into the cooking much later just to give it a bit of color. So what I'm just doing here is dicing the tomatoes and I'm going to do the same to the green peppers, yellow peppers and the onions as well. Okay, so I'm just checking the gizzards and they look ready. Um, so I'm just going to turn off the heat and then scoop them out of the pot, leave them to cool for a bit before I then proceed to fry them. After I have fried the plantains, I use the same hot oil to fry the gizzards until they are golden brown. I'll also be recycling the oil that I used to fry the plantains and the gizzards because that oil is very rich in flavor and it has such great aroma and that I'll be using in frying the peppers and you know using that to make the geese dodo. So what I'm doing here is just sauteing the onions, the chopped onions that I had set aside earlier um, and that just helps to give the oil the added flavour. Um, next is the blended peppers which I'm adding now. I'll stir that and cover it and allow it to cook on a low temperature for about 15 minutes. So at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and season the stew. Now, if you notice, 
because the stew has been cooking on, on a low heat the stew actually looks looks thicker and that is exactly what we want but we need to keep stirring just to ensure that it doesn't burn um, the next thing I'll be doing is adding the fried gizzard to the mix I'll stir that still maintain cooking it on a low temperature and just cook it for about five minutes or about five to seven minutes before I then tip in the fried plantains So there you have it guys, the dodo gizzard or giz dodo is ready and the next thing I'm going to do is just to garnish it with the chopped um, green peppers as well as the yellow peppers and the tomatoes just to add colour to the um, end result. But as you can see, this is exactly how you make giz dodo, my way, my recipe. Bon appétit, let's know how you get on with it and you can drop um, your feedback in the comments box. Thanks for watching.